that was, it was really interesting because when you when you were going in there, it was set up like a funeral, you know, you, uh, with with the red carpet in front of it. That was, you know, and but the big wreath that was there, they had the ambassador written on it and uh, the flowers and and uh, and it was interesting to be there with an entire room of people jam packed with a room of people that were that were, you know, devastated is such a strong word to use, but. General, just upset about what happened there, and it was kind of spooky because across the street is the ambassador, and it was you know it's ready to be gone, and uh, and they had rigged some spotlights on the on this on Wilshire, uh, so so they weren't lighting up the ambassador legally, but it, they were there on Wilshire, you know, sort of pointed at the hotel, and you see it vaguely lit uh, across the street. It was it was it was a bit spooky, and and then. And then everyone being in the hotel, sort of commemorating the event. It was sad. It was really sad. Uh, who attended the event? Uh, well, just a bunch of people, as far as I know, and a few of my friends. We went as fellow uh, historians uh, that they're very interested in in these same types of things. I met Steve Goldstein, who uh, beneath Los Angeles.com, and my friend Lisa Burks, who is an integral part of the restoration of Grandview Cemetery. Uh, so there are people like me that, that attended, and, and then, you know, a lot of people that were very active in the preservation effort to save the place. I, heard, I just remember uh, from the bounty, uh, everyone went into the lobby of the Gaylord, and, and Diane Keaton gave a, a bit of a presentation. And they had, I remember they, and I think they still have um, glass uh, sort of cases in the lobby of the Gaylord, uh, I think devoted to the ambassador. They certainly did that night. Uh, people brought their own sort of memorabilia, artifacts, photos. Bricks. Like yeah, bricks. <laughs> they <didn't> bricks then. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know, I, I paid a guy 20 bucks, one of the security guards there, and, uh, and they brought back a wheelbarrow of bricks for me. So. Oh, wow. And that's, you know, I'm glad I have them now.